snapshots. All the arrays have uh, snapshots um, with Equalogic snapshots and real data. They're built in, included in the price purchase price. With Equalogic, every feature that it does is included in the price. It's an all-in product. Uh, the others are variable for a la carte. Um, and there's, with snapshots, some vendors force you to set aside a reserve space to hold that snapshot data. Compellent doesn't doesn't need to set up a reserve space. So that's an advantage. All three arrays will do uh, uh, asynchronous uh, replication, which is the most uh, most common, and most of them will do synchronous. Uh, and replication is the old uh, ecologic is the only one where replication is included. The price of the rest is an add-on feature. Uh, the full virtualization, that third degree uh, of virtualization, EMC doesn't do that. That's not how the old guard does it. Compellent is all about that, or it can do, uh, you can carve things up in separate disk groups and, and uh, do it. So we'll do it with uh, big store or not. Ecologic and real data are, are uh, all about the third degree. Uh, thin provisioning, uh, EMC has something that's sort of thin provisioning like that they call, uh, came out with last September called virtual provisioning. Uh, Compellent invented thin provisioning, uh, and it's uh, included with Compellent. You don't have to have a reserve, which is what Equalogic requires you to have a reserve. Real data doesn't have thin provisioning, but will soon. Um, the uh, interesting thing about Compellent's thin provisioning, if you know how uh, Windows, Windows uses its disk, Windows always writes above the high watermark on the disk until you fill the drive, and then it goes around and will write over places where you deleted data before. So think about that, a Windows volume on the SAN. The SAN doesn't know that Windows has deleted these blocks of data that they're no longer any good. So as a Windows grows every write, it's going to increase this, the, the, uh, the size of your, even if you're thin provision, it's going to keep driving the size of the volume up. Well, how do you get back all those deleted blocks? Compellent has an agent that runs on Windows once, once a day, We'll go through, see what blocks are deleted, and then we'll pass that information into the compellent so we can delete them too. And so in compellent, when you import a volume, it will thin provision it. So if there's blocks or gaps in the data, they won't, they won't take up that space. And through its uh, uh, Windows uh, uh, agent, it will stay thin provisioned over time. And that's a huge, uh, huge storage saver. Compellent has a 40% uh, guarantee, so they recommend that, uh, that their resellers sell compellent 40% less storage in a compellent configuration versus the competitors. And they guarantee that if the client's uh, uh, data doesn't fit in that 40% as, as they predicted it would, 40% uh, less, then compellent will for free add the additional storage. They've not had to do that yet. So especially if it's Windows data, you're going to achieve uh, some space efficiencies. Uh, let's see, multiple rate types. Everybody can do uh, multiple rate types. Equalogic can't do it within one array, but between different arrays in the, in the cluster it can. Uh, and Compellent can do multiple rate types with a, a single volume. We talked about the fast track feature that's an add on license for Compellent, and only Compellent has that feature. Tiered storage, we talked about that a lot. Uh, rel data and EMC, that's a manual process, and uh, with Compellent, it's a uh, Automatic process. It's a, it, uh, there's a license key associated with it, and it's a very fine grain. Equalogic can do automatic uh, tiered storage, but it does it in uh, a coarser grain level, the entire volume level. Uh, clustering storage nodes. EMC can't do it yet. Compellent has announced but not delivered yet uh, something called live volume, where you can have two storage arrays, and you can take a volume that's live in production being used on this array and migrate it live in production over to that array without, uh, without the server being aware. Uh, so that's the Equalogic uh, does clustering up to 12 and real data uh, it's a, has a very high performance clustering. So you cluster up to 32 arrays and a cluster in each of the arrays can have 180 drives. So that scales uh, scale very well as well. Most of the arrays can all do uh, you know, 500 drives or so, so they're going to be able to handle most anything you can think of. The big feature of storage area networks, one of the big differentiators in software integrations. Things like taking 
live hot backups of your Microsoft Exchange or SQL Server or your Oracle database or plugins for VMware or VMware Site Recovery Manager and that sort of thing. Um, most of the vendors have pretty good uh, integrations. EMC and Compel, you, uh, you pay for those. So they're all a cart with Ecologic Vets and all on array. It's all included in the array. Uh, Real data has some integrations that are more coming, but it's, uh, it's behind. The size of the minimum configuration, rel data and equal logic can reach down pretty low into the teens uh, for some configurations. Typically, uh, EMC and Capella are, are 50,000 and up, and they, their sweet spot is really more $75,000 and up in larger environments where they pay off. So some of this we can move down in. Equal logic uh, until a couple weeks ago was in the mid-20s to purchase a four terabyte array. Their lower end model that, uh, uh, that we can sell for about 17 with, with the year of maintenance. Installation is very different between the arrays. Equal logic and real data. CX Tech will do the installation uh, for you uh, via web conference, and typically we charge $399. Take a couple hours. Much of that installation is making sure your server NICs and your switch ports are set properly. Uh, there's a YouTube video out there how to install an Equalogic Array in six minutes. Uh, we won't tell your boss. Uh, you can take a couple of days to do it. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, whereas uh, the old guard, EMC, and Capellan, their installation model is typically a two-day on-site engagement uh, for, for several thousand dollars. And the maintenance prices are also a little bit different between the Array's Equalogic and Rel Data. Next business day uh, service for Equalogic for about $2,600, and, uh, and Capellan EMC are substantially, uh, substantially more than that. Very competitive with one another, but the other race have an advantage there. So, hopefully, I didn't uh, bore you with too many details, but what I wanted to try to convey was there are a lot of different products out there. Different products have different features, there's a lot of differentiation between them. We can have a conversation about your environment, where you are today, where you want to go, and we can help choose the right product for you to get that integrated environment.